Hi everyone, my name is Johnny Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, before that, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use so I still be using limited colors. I have here the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw umber. I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. And I'll be using few brushes only. I will be using the number 12 nylon flat brush, number 8 nylon flat brush, long handle, and number 7 nylon flat brush, short handle. I also use, need to use the number 1 liner brush for the details, you can also use 0, double 0, and triple zeros. Okay, these are just the possible brushes. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of it. Okay, and this is my canvas. It's just a small canvas. It's 8 by 10 inches. It has 3 cuts of prime white acrylic and also your gesso. I made it myself. And we need water to thin the paint. Here. I'm sorry if my water is too dirty. <laughs> okay, and if I prefer gonna leave water spray to wet our canvas. And of course, we need a palette knife. Make sure it's a small palette knife if you are painting in a small um, canvas. And I have a groom backer gesso uh, to create textures uh, for a really realistic old cemented wall. Okay, so I think I'm going to start now and today I'm going to paint a very easy tutorial, a basic tutorial on how to pick, create realistic old broken um, cemented wall okay so I think I'm going to start now so we need to sketch first I'm gonna sketch first where what I'm gonna put on this wall so here I'm gonna use the row umber I'm going to paint something like this This will be a broken part. There. There are also some layers. So this part will be some um, smooth part of the wall. And this part is broken. Or old or I, I really don't know what you call that <laughs> in your language. Okay, so let's put some bricks here this will be our guide for the bricks so we're gonna make it a little bigger and we're gonna divide the bricks There's a little bug here. Okay, so we have now the brick, the bricks, and of course we we're going to still cover some parts there on the bricks. So it's not final yet. Okay, so that's it. We have the we have the sketch. So now we're going to start adding the details. So I have here the palette knife and the gesso. I'm gonna put it here. start adding some few textures so this part will be a little smooth and also here we need to put some textures covering on the some parts of the 
topics so here also we need to do the tapping there okay just tapping to create a We need to do something like that, then tap it. There. So up here, I need to put on the some textures between the bricks. And here, of course. There you go. And here, we're gonna have two more textures on this part. So just plain, just create a plain textures, then. We need to tap it to create the uh, uh, small textures. There. I really like to to use this uh, te to create textures because it can really create realistic objects using this one so I recommend you to buy some gesso that is, that is really good if you want to create realistic um, painting like this and also we need to put a little textures between on the brick on the bricks yes you can do this something like this then Tap to create small textures. There. You don't need to make it perfect. And also here. So you can also put some textures within the bricks. Also here. You can use the palette knife to create more you can slice to create more te textures. We need to also put it here. This part will be smooth, but also we need to add a little textures here. Then here also.
Damn. And here also. There. Another one here. I'm gonna make it a little thicker. We need to scatter more textures. That's it. There. I think I'm gonna need more here. Let's do it this way to create um, textures between the between the bricks. And of course, you need to put some textures on the bricks. Doesn't have to be lonely. The bricks shouldn't be lonely. going to create um, thicker textures here there I love that the lines will be a little visible So I'm going to retouch some parts here. Okay. I am like it. I like it. So here. Let's add more. Okay, I think I am done with uh, um, with adding the textures. I'm sorry, everyone. I think I am done adding the textures. So as you, as you can see, let's re recap a little. So here, this part will be the part where, where the the part of the cement or the wall, um, the part will be smooth here. So it's just the finishing still still there, and this part will be showing the 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 bricks. So I'm going to color the bricks something like dark red or browns so here it will show up so that will be my plan and it will be 
I love the textures, I think more textures than this. So that's it. So if you are following me, just follow what I did in the video. And we need to let it dry first for I'm not sure at least 30 minutes to one hour. So let's come back after one hour, let it dry first. Hello everyone, I think the the gesso is already dry now. I can touch it and I was just using um, thin amounts of gesso, small amounts so that it will dry um, fast and I think it's um, less than 30 minutes so I'll just say it's um, 30 minutes or more so that you will let it dry for a longer time so that there are there were no um, wet parts Okay, so I think I'm going to start coloring the paint, painting and adding some more details. Okay, so I'll be using the number 12 nylon flat brush here. I am going to make some brown color, so I'm going to use this raw umber and red. There, I'm going to make this dark. dark uh, dark brown yeah so let's paint this part here you can use the topping yeah so I'm gonna add more red so we just fill this part with this dark brown red color more dark brown if you are painting maybe just follow what I'm doing and of course don't forget to have fun that's it so we need to fill this part with the dark brown okay and we need also to put other parts there And I'm going to use the, the raw umber with some white. There, yeah. it should be a darker. Uh, it, it should look like darker gray. And we need to put something here. We need to. Uh, we need to fill all the holes. the little water so we are adding the the background colors or the underpainting um, as the first step okay and also here we need to create some we need to fill this part with some dark browns you can wet add more water in it
Okay. And more white. All you have to do is just fill this part with the colors. With these grayish colors. I'm gonna add more row umber. And here. There. Okay. I actually love it. Now we're gonna start adding some darker tones. So I'll be using a smaller brush. It is the number seven flat brush. Okay. Need to wet it with water. And I'm gonna use the raw umber. I think I'm gonna use the pure raw umber. Wet some darker tones. And here, let's follow the cracks there. Follow the cracks. There. Spot the cracks on the wall. The one that I we did. On the textures, so there are cracks that I that we added. So just follow that. You do need you do not need to follow everything. Just have to create some more to compensate the cracks to make it more alive. Okay. And also on the textures there. Between the and also here. So far, I love it. Okay, so let's add more cracks there. Add more cracks here on this. There, yeah, okay. Let's add more rocks. And also here, we need to put some a little details between the between this um, between the bricks. Okay. Now I'm going to start adding some textures 
uh, details on the texture so I'm gonna use the palette knife I'll be using the white here I think I'm gonna use the pure white mixing it with the existing grayish color here so let's put more white light colors on these plain parts here so just put it on the top part of the there just put it on the top part of the textures And here also we need to put a little textures but I, I think we're gonna make it um, darker so I'm gonna mix it with the raw umber there love it just put it on the top of the and also here just put it on the top of the uh, textures Sorry, <laughs> I should not have done that. And here, there. And also here, we need to scratch a little to make it uh, to, to reveal all the textures. Then I'm gonna add more umber to make it darker. On here. Okay. I'm going to add more white with more with some raw umber to make it uh, darker. And let's add more textures like this. Yes. Just scratch it on the top. There. Let's add more. There are also some dark parts. So let's just mix all the colors here. You know, you need also to add some um, orange color. So I'm gonna use this yellow and red on this part here. Touch it. Let's add more textures. So here. I'm gonna make it tighter. And all we need to scratch it. Just scratch. Hey, how about that? Yeah, it looks really realistic for me. I 
have the result so far and I think I'll be using some brush now so I'll be using the number 7 flat brush and I'm going to mix create I'm going to use this grayish color I'm going to reveal more textures here by using this color just use the pouncing technique so that uh, it will create a natural look Okay, and also here, let's add some more gray stone. And here, I'm going to spread a little. Sorry everyone if my dog is really noisy. Here. Yes, add a little textures, a light colors here. Gray yes color. And here, of course, just a little light colors there. You can actually use the palette knife, but I think the brush will do better in this part. So a little gray stone on this bricks. Yes. I'm gonna need more gray color on these bricks. And I think I'm going to add some darker tone. I'm going to use the blue and the red. It's violet. And let's add it between the... Okay. 
Chết Ok, I love it It does really look realistic I'm going to add a little yellow Let's add more details here To make the texture more interesting I'm gonna be make this part darker. Okay. So what else I'm going to put? I'm going to add some more cracks. I'm gonna use this uh, one liner brush and I'm gonna use some dark colors, blue and red, to create some violet. And I think I'm gonna add one more crack there. Okay, another crack here. There, so I just follow it on the cracks on the cracks of the texture. So that's a good way to to make it more realistic. Okay. Just follow it here. Okay, how about that? Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to retouch more. So this is the final step, retouching. So I'm going to use the grayish color. And I'm going to retouch more here. I'm going to make it gray, yes. And I think I'm going to add more 
darker tones when I use the red and the blue. More textures. So I am now retouching and I hope I will I am done with, in, with this one in minutes. Okay. Okay, how about that? So I'm going to analyze if I'm going to add more textures. You can add some blue paints here on the on the on this um, smooth part so you can add a little bluish color down here there to make it more like um, some stains or paints or bundles okay yeah Okay, I think I'm going to retouch more. Can I use this gray color? Here. Okay, so I think I am done everyone. So if you can you can add more retouch, you can actually do it. You can add more textures there or whatever you're gonna put. So this is just a simple tutorial on how to paint this. Um if you paint some um some old house or old mansions, you can old streets you can put this kind of textures on your painting. So this is just a basic tutorial on how to do that. So hopefully you you understand this tutorial and you can paint on your own using this technique and i hope you are learning get something out of this so i want to say thanks everyone for watching this video today my advice is keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn to mix and to decide colors you want okay everyone thank you so much have a nice day and god bless you all all the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the lord